What's up, everybody? Welcome to Daddy's House. Uh, this is Super Patriot coming at you with another DCUO commentary. Uh, so we're just hit the streets, hit the forums, all that. Word is out. Update four is coming to us Monday morning, uh, starting at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The servers will go down for approximately two and a half hours, so they can get everything set up to deliver update four to us. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I had a viewer. Uh, Request for any information on changes to sorcery and nature coming from the test servers. Unfortunately, I don't have any info for you. I um, uh, don't know if uh, testing was uh, was done at all or if uh, the info just never got to us. Um, but uh, outside of um, circle protection having different colors depending on the uh, stance, a healer or a DPS, um, there is no any information in the hand about that. Uh, but let's look at what else we're getting with update four here. <clears throat> Things I haven't talked about yet. Uh, character creation. Um, now you're going to have nine different body types to pick pick from. Uh, the, basically, you're going to still have the original three, uh, but now there are going to be small and large versions of those available to uh, choose from. Uh, journal uh, update uh, with the new UI. Um, I, I talked about that in a previous video. We're going to be uh, separating the. Uh, and, uh, organize the missions and tabs and everything to uh, keep it a little less uh, cluttered. Uh, let's see, phase shifter. Um, you're going to be able to phase in between uh, PvE and PvP. Now this is dependent on whether or not Mega Service are coming at us uh, Monday also. That has not been verified yet. I'd like to think so. I mean, they've said that uh, Mega Service would come to us uh, before Update 4, but and update 4 is coming now, and uh, we have no uh, word about mega servers de being definitely uh, included with the update. Uh, but let's look at the uh, new marks and everything. New marks of conquest uh, for uh, purchasing the uh, new, what they're calling now the, P the tier 2 PvP gear. Uh, basically, um, the blue influence PvP gear that we all bought with you know, influence points we got from PvP. Uh, is no longer really considered the tier one set. Everybody considered it for that for a long time, but it's not. It's uh, basically just influence gear. Um, uh, back to its basic influence gear. Uh, the uh, tier two PvP set, basically your, your Hawkman, the Robin, and the uh, Aquaman suits uh, that you would purchase from the vendors in the um, Watchtower for, or, you know, for the heroes. Uh, that is now going to be costing you influence points, and it is considered the Tier 1 um, PvP armor. Uh, basically, for a full set of Tier 1 PvP armor, the Iconic armor, uh, it's going to cost you 3,400 influence uh, to buy that. For uh, a full Tier 2 set, the new Brainiac suit, uh, it's going to cost you 525 Martial Conquest total. Uh, so, basically what they've done is they've gotten, they've gotten rid of Marks of Victory. But don't worry, if you have Marks of Victory uh, loaded up still, um, do not fear, they're not completely useless. Uh, basically, it's doing the same thing with, uh, they did with the Marks of Legion set. Previous update, um, you can uh, trade them in for influence. Uh, basically, this is how the uh, mark conversion goes for the PvP marks. Uh, one Mark of Legend is, is will get you 5 influence. 10 Marks of Legend will get you 50 influence. Uh, one Mark of Conquest costs a thousand influence and one mark of victory will cost you five uh, I'm sorry 50 influence so what does this mean uh, well basically you know, anybody who's been uh, saving up on their influence hasn't been getting the uh, MK soldiers uh, they're gonna be uh, in for a treat once the update hits um, I know I've been working on my other two uh, uh, PvP sets from the other two um, factions, and uh, now it's going to be a lot easier for me to get them, considering the fact that I've got almost 40,000 influence built up. Uh, now, uh, let's look at uh, what else they're adding here. Uh, new PvP weapons. Yes, they are finally brought in PvP weapons on par with raid weapons. Not just the current raid weapons, but the new raid weapons coming out with this update. Uh, basically, what it's going to cost you is uh, your uh, new uh, raid weapon is going to cost you 120 marks of conquest. Uh, it's going to have a base DPS of 77.9, but when you are using it against another player, 
And basically, when you know you go out there and start bashing on a villain or you know bashing on a hero, uh, it is going to get a 45% increase in damage, basically making it a 113 DPS weapon in PvP. So I don't know about you, but I'm, I don't know. I may be holding off on getting my uh, uh, other two uh, tier two set, uh, tier uh, one PvP sets and uh, trading my influence in to get enough marks to get my uh, PvP weapon. Uh, the new PvE uh, armors, you know, I've discussed in another video um, and uh, showed you um, a link for a video that um, shows you uh, all those, um, what they all look like. Uh, see, the new arena, Fortress of Solitude 8v8, um, I touched on this a little bit ago, uh, not really uh, pleased with the size of the grouping for that. 8v8 is just a bit big for a team deathmatch, it's too chaotic, too hectic. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out and everything. Um, but uh, I'm not really uh, too keen on the size and the fact that there are going to be bonuses or uh, stat increase uh, pop-ups in that. Basically, it's sounding to me like it's going to be like a match with a match halo. Um, dueling, they have uh, said they were going to hold off until update 5 or so. Uh, we don't have that to look forward to. But there is something else we can look forward to uh, for all of you... Uh, folks out there like myself who are uh, love their melee weapons but are tired of them being uh, less than effective as the ranged weapons um, they are going to be increasing the viability of melee weapons in PvP uh, melee weapon combo damage has been increased uh, some melee combo abilities can now hit multiple enemies in range uh, using a melee weapon improves your resistance to harmful movement control effects such as knockdown and dramatically so after using breakout. And the critical damage bonus for melee weapons now starts at plus 140% instead of plus 125%. So what does this mean? This means us brawlers are going to finally get some payback on you guys using martial arts. That's what it means. <laughs> That's what I'm really looking forward to there. Uh, other than that, uh, I'd like to uh, point everybody out here, uh, it's on PC, PS3 side, um, that uh, with some of us uh, with, uh, from uh, Blood Bowl Run and The Killing Joke and No Man's Land have gotten together and we have decided to go ahead and merge forums up. You can now find, uh, come on over and join us on kingdomcome.engine.com. Uh, and uh, join the forums there for any discussions about uh, PS3 PvP. Um, going on and uh, just you know, join the discussion there <laughs> uh, sorry I'm putting this together uh, a little late tonight and all that news out of the, the new update coming together and uh, putting I was busy putting these forms together and everything for us but um, that's basically it what we're seeing coming at us Monday morning um, looking forward to seeing all of it especially the new uh, um, changes coming up uh, the new raid also is in, um, included in the update so we'll see how things go from there um, looking forward to uh, these changes and uh, looking forward to hearing any uh, feedback from you guys uh, until then this is Super Patriot coming at you again um, hope you enjoyed the video uh, let me know what you all think of the new update uh, and uh, let's cross our fingers and hope mega servers are coming with it alright take care Bye.